I be walking with that cheese? That's that queso. Kind of low-key, real upset that Jungu decided to dye his hair after I low-key dyed mine to match his, but... Hello all, it is Illy, and this feels like my first real bookish video on my booktube channel, but I just kind of wanted to come on here talk about my reading so far for the month of November, what I read, what I'm currently reading, reading plans. It's the 13th, as I'm currently filming this, I believe, and the beginning of this month was VV Hectic. So, like, my reading really took a toll. First thing I read was Elevation by Stephen King. It was his newest novella that came out, like, right at the end of October. Um, I read it genuinely. There's lesbians in it. At first, I was kind of like, is he only writing lesbians to, or queer LGBT characters to just be like, look at me. I'm inclusive and sometimes he was saying things and I'm like is he just saying that to make himself look good or does he really feel these things and I know a lot of people actually didn't like this because it's kind of bullshit and kind of a cop-out ending but I love that because it is Stephen King so he kind of just like I don't want to think of something deeper than that so fuck it we're gonna just end it like that you're not gonna get any answer but I did um kind of almost cried because I cry in everything that I cry 99% of things, every movie, never not cried. Just saw the Grinch movie, I cried. Just cuz, I love crying, but this was pretty good. It was alright. Probably if you did, like Stephen King, wouldn't. Or if you don't like Stephen King, I don't know. Just fucking read it if you want to read it. Then I picked up my first ever Dean Koontz, which is my mother's favorite author, and I finally read something by him. I read Fear Nothing, and then the sequel, Seize the Night. These were actually really surprisingly really good. I gave, think I gave them like 3 and 3.5 stars. They were genuinely really enjoyable. He kind of does the same thing that Charles Dickens does where he just goes on and on with his descriptions and it's kind of annoying and tedious and doesn't really add anything. And he usually reads mystery novels, which I am not a fan of mystery generally. So I was like, oh, I don't really know if I want to pick up anything by him. They're probably, I'm like, never seen ever. So I randomly found the first one like, at a used book sale, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'll pick it up, and then my mom had all of his books, so I was like, I could read the sequel if I want to, and I love them because they were very sci-fi. The mystery element came in a little bit more in the second one, but, like, the sci-fi was so cool and interesting, and I kind of really love that. I wish he would have explored that a little bit more, but, and there's a cool bromance. I don't know. They were really cool. I'm not really good at reviewing things. I just kind of ramble about shit that people probably wouldn't care about in books, but, like, Anyway, solid duology, like them, really good. What I'm currently reading is this monster. I'm reading Bleak House by Charles Dickens, which technically I started back in August. I read like a third of it in August, set it down to pick up something else, never picked it up again. All of them didn't touch it. October, read another third. And now I'm finally like, I should finish this. Like, I think I have, I have, like, less than 200, like, maybe 190. I have 190 pages left. Genuinely love it. It's phenomenal, obviously. This might be my new favorite Charles Dickens that I've read so far. I need to reread Great Expectations to really tell, but, like, this shit is phenomenal. Like, cool. Now for my reading plans. There's a theme. Asian Lit. I love Asian Lit. I wish I read more. And so I'm going to. A lot. Um, Star Wars the most relevant, probably. I finally picked up Crazy Rich Asians. Like, I have been wondering this since I heard about it. Like, when it came out. And I did not specifically watch the movie, because I was like, I want to read the book first. And then I just never picked it up. And then finally, like, at the end of, like, October, I, like, was, why not? Picked it up. Gonna hopefully read this. Gonna love it, hopefully. A wild cheat chase. If you watched my first video, wanna thank you so much. But um, I won this in a giveaway from Kate over at Kate File. Um, if I don't mention Kate in a video, I will self-destruct. I love Kate, my queen. But uh, wanna read this? Mirakami, Japanese. Gonna be great, hopefully. I have high hopes. Next is a graphic novel. Another one. American-born Chinese, Jin Lin Yang, 
graphic novel and I've had it on my TBR for years and then when I finally bought it I was like saving it for some reason and I'm just like I want to read it but now I'm like Asian lit time gonna read it and I love I'm gonna I sure I'm gonna love it I love graphic novels I love memoirs in graphic novel form gonna be great gonna read it gonna love it my last book really I have is S. S. By Koji Suzuki. This is Japanese lit. I'm assuming by. I once upon a time knew what this book was about. My mom got this in a horror subscription box that she used to like be subscribed to and shit. And this was like in her first box. And I was like, yo, Asian lit, this sounds dope. Um, don't remember what it's about. Don't want to read the description because. Or the synopsis, whatever the fuck it's called. It has something to do with the Ring trilogy. Is it trilogy series? I don't fucking know. The Ring. You know the movie Samara? You know. I think. I think. It's Asian Lit. We're gonna read it. We're gonna see what we think. That's it, I think, that I wanna talk about. I kinda wanna read The Shining this month. Read more Stephen King. The Gold Mine. These are the plans. Thank you for watching. Sorry I'm weird and awkward and can't properly speak. But um, tell me what you've been reading. Tell me what you want to read. Tell me if you've read any of these. If anyone watches this, I might just be talking to myself. But if you did watch this, thank you very much. Love you. Bye.